going on everybody? Mike Strauss, aka Strauss21. Been a while since I've done one of these, just kind of wanted to uh, go over the ESPN Fortaleza card going on, uh, well, what, tomorrow already. So it is February already, 2019 is off to a crazy start. So um, yeah, man, I'll keep it short, just wanted to kind of go over, just going to go over the main card and maybe uh, hit on a couple of the prelim cards because the, the deeper I look into this Fortaleza card, there's some really good fights on it. There's some some hidden gems, if you will. So uh, bear with me here. Let's kind of break down. Uh, we'll start at the top. Asuncio Marias, the second time these guys have gone at it. The first time they went at it, Marias was just getting to the UFC. I thought the Asuncio fight at that moment was a little too much for Marias. It, it turned out that was the case. Asuncio beat him. This time around, I think it's a totally different story. I like Marias to win this fight. I, I think he's really hitting his stride. Oftentimes, you see this with guys from other promotions. They come over. It's not that they can't compete with the guys in the UFC. They can. They more than can. The surreal, the surrealism of the UFC is it's just kind of all-encompassing. That kind of does them in. But I like Marias in this man. He, he's on a three-fight win streak. Uh, Asuncio has on a four-fight win streak. As I said, Marias is one of those guys. It should be a really good main event. Uh, both of those guys usually put on great shows, but I like Marias probably via uh, a crazy highlight reel finish. He's on that roll. Jose Aldo, uh, Hanato Moicano, fucking great fight. I don't think Aldo's done. I, I just don't, I don't know. We've been watching Jose Aldo compete for what seems like forever, right? The WEC days. He was the first featherweight champion in the UFC. Yeah, what can you say about him, man? I mean, he, he's still here. Jose's only 32 years old, right? I mean, you would think he'd be like 36, 37, at least with all the fights, how long he's been doing it. But no, uh, by comparison, Moicano's 29. So there's only a three-year age difference there. Moicano is a tough, tough draw for Aldo at this point in his career. I just don't think that Aldo is done. Either way, the fans in Brazil are going to get a... Uh, get a winner there, right? They're both Brazilian. Uh, speaking of Brazilian, Damian Maia, he's fighting Lyman Good. Big Lyman Good fan. Uh, I, I really like Lyman Good. I'm, I'm glad he finally got his, his second shot in the UFC. That being said, man, I don't know. I think Damian Maia is, uh, even though he's on a three-fight losing streak, I think his grappling is just so, so good. If, you know, to borrow a Joe Roganism, it's, there's levels to this game. And, um, Damian Maia sits at the top, so I don't know. I think his grappling is going to be the difference in that one. And then um, what do you got? Charles Oliveira, another insane grappler against David Tamer. It's going to be your classic. The win against Jim Miller at UFC Milwaukee, I, I was covering. And uh, David Tamer, who uh, he just fought too. Who did he just fight here? Uh, he David Tamer's coming off of a fight uh, against Nick Lanz, that's right. So before that, the win against Dracar Close. You know, anything could happen here, but I like Oliveira just because his jiu-jitsu, similar to mine, is just, it's off the charts ridiculous. Uh, just what he was able to do to Jim Miller, and I know Jim Miller is at the tail end of his career, but Oliveira is the real deal, and I think Tamer is still kind of young in this game. Uh, so I like I like Oliveira. And then you got got uh, Justin Ledette, who I feel like he's underrated. He's a very solid, he's a very solid heavyweight. He's going against uh, Johnny Walker. I'm sorry, he's a very solid, light heavyweight. He was a heavyweight coming down. Then you got Johnny Walker, and I'm not talking about the whiskey. He is a very talented, a very big light heavyweight, 6'5". And uh, he's 26 years old. He's kind of got that crazy, likable personality, that style about him. A lot of guys are calling for, you know, a lot of guys are saying that this guy could be that guy to overtake John Jones in the next couple years, depending on how he progresses. We'll see. It's a tough out for him. He's on a seven-fight win streak. He's going against Justin Ledet, as I said. His his victory against uh, his knockout against Khalil Roundtree in his last fight his last fight was just fucking. That really surprised me because Khalil Roundtree was a guy that I thought was ascending, and I think he still can. But Johnny Walker's a guy to keep an eye out for. Should be a fun fight, but I yeah I can't go against Johnny Walker. And then the opening bout is a uh, is a women's. Finally, we get a women's bout. It's uh, Liva Renata Souza going against Sarah Froda, and Sarah Froda missed weight by seven pounds earlier this morning. That's Mackenzie Dern status there. That's that's a lot. I mean, what do you do? She's nine and zero. The fight's still going to go on, so props to Souza. She's twelve and one, and Froda's nine and zero. So this is about I was looking forward to very much. I wrote a piece for BJPen.com, 
Uh, I think it just posted this morning, and uh, you know, it was basic, basically reasons why to watch this card, and this fight was one of them, so I'm glad it's still happening. I like Souza to win, but you know, now that Froda missed weight by that much, it, if, if, the, if this whole weight, missing weight experiment has showed us anything, it's that fighters that miss weight and then go on to still have a fight, they have a, have a massive advantage. So it doesn't bode well for Souza here, but I still like her to win. And then um, that's the main card. So just a couple of prelims I wanted to shout out. Looks like the prelim headliner is uh, Anthony Fluffy Hernandez going against Marcus Perez. Anthony Hernandez is a guy that I, I've had to interview a, a few times. He's a cool guy going against Marcus Perez. Marcus Perez is 10-0. Hernandez is undefeated. This is going to be a great fight. Most people got their, their first look at Anthony Hernandez on the Dana White Contender Series. Uh, he got like a 40-second KO. Then it got overturned because he smokes weed, which is just ridiculous. Give me a break. Uh, anyway, this is going to be a fun one. I like Anthony Hernandez to win, but Marcus Perez is a very, very exciting fighter in his own right. So both those middleweights bang. This one should not go the distance. And then real quick before we get out of here, uh, Thiago Alves, the pit bull, going against Max Payne Griffin. This should be another fun fight. You got Alves, who is just, you know, balls to the wall, straight ahead. And then you got Max Griffin, who's more of a tactician. So this should be a fun fight, too. Uh, this is kind of a toss-up for me, but I'm going to go Max Griffin maybe in a, in a decision. But we will see. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know where I fucked up. And uh, catch you next time.